Hey everyone, Antipeter to Peter one m here and welcome to my channel. In this video I want to talk about uh, issues relating to quality of life and mass advertising, that sort of thing. So I was watching a Facebook video and this ad popped up and it was a completely useless ad and had nothing to do with me. But I just realised that that segment of my life I could have done so much more in and got so much more fulfilment out of that I didn't get from that you know, that 60 seconds or 30 seconds or whatnot. And that sort of instance happens so many times in our life. I don't know how many millions of times in our life that we are inundated with advertising that it made me think how poor a quality of life my life actually is. Let's have a think about how many ads we watch on YouTube, Facebook, that sort of thing that have no relevance to our futures and actually cause us to make wrong decisions. So if I live for an average of 80 years, for example, um, I'm estimating that maybe 5%, maybe even much more than that, depending on how you define it, of my life will be spent watching advertising and picking up information which has no use to me, no practical use. It's, it does not educate, it does not inform, and it does not entertain me. So, um, of 80 years that I spend on this earth, I would say maybe four to eight years of that life would be spent watching or listening to things which I have absolutely no use for. And it would be more than that if you think about all the bad people that I, that I meet, or the crappy people that I meet, people that have no consequence to me, who do not better and further m myself as a, becoming a better person. I want to suggest to you that humans are animals. We are animals because we, ha we are influenced by the things that we are exposed to. There's no doubting that. And there's nothing doubt doubting that um, it's partly, um, and I would say maybe 20%, maybe 40% of the fault of advertisers that cause people to make bad decisions in their life. So if you think about the, the glut of advertising that McDonald's do, for example, on the rugby league channel or something, this is an example of, of a corporation which is clearly immoral and clearly working against our best interests, who are causing us to make, causing consumers, especially young kids, to make very poor decisions about their life and lifestyles. The moral cost of advertising is great. By McDonald's putting on so many advertisements, it causes a lot of kids to get overweight because they eat the wrong junk foods. It causes them to become depressed as a result. It causes them to, when they have children, to create more and more overweight and depressed children. This is an ongoing cyclical effect which makes the quality of life highly compromised and highly poor. By listening to the advertisers like that, we, we cause pollution. Um, on the earth, we cause waste, and we cause suffering on enslaved animals who have no nothing that they can do about their own personal situations, contributing thus contributing to the suffering of others on a massive scale. Don't you think it's time we stopped being hit on by the wrong things and the wrong people? Don't you think it's time we st stood up and said that advertising is actually immoral and unethical? rather than it being something that we just have to tolerate every single day of our lives. This is also one of the reasons why I believe in living modelling. Living modelling is an ideology or a living concept which promotes the idea that we can actually have a perfect life, a perfectly tailored life suited to a particular individual. If 20 or so people, for example, worked on the life of one particular individual and put everything that they could into that person's life, that was useful and appealing to that person, whether it be sex, food, um, healthful diets, that sort of thing, a good education, all of these things put into their life that would make that person the best person possible. That would, that's the idea of living modeling. And that's why I believe living modeling is so important and essential to a great life. It is definitely, partly and significantly, significantly the fault of advertisers in a slow and creeping way, in a way that we, many of us don't really understand because it, it, it inundates our subconscious 
that forces us to make bad choices in life. As I mentioned, kids are particularly vulnerable, that many adults too are particularly vulnerable to these sort of bad life choices, whether it be from dairy consumption, um, dairy chocolate, forcing us to eat dairy chocolate, or smoke cigarettes from because of, we watched a tobacco advertisement at some stage, or something else that caused us to make a bad life choice along the way. All of these things not only set our time, they also set our energy and set our happiness in the longer term. What sort of quality of life is this? Do you really want to watch something that you don't have any interest in? Make a better decision. I will let you make the decisions in the future. Bye for now.